Hello and welcome, my name is Menturius and welcome to a new episode of Stoneheart. We are going to restart the series and we are going to do the Northern Alliance. We are going to start in their favorite Arctic. And we are going to crank up the difficulty. We're going to go for hard. And we're going to try to survive. Let's see who we got. Hothead, I don't like this group because I do need a group who's kind of good. Oh man. We got a Croatian guy, but who isn't pretty strong. Cultus, no. Oh man, can we get some good people? Because Passionate Blacksmith, that's interesting. And goat, basically eat anything. They're not picky. All right, that's interesting. Oh my god, and then we got... There are a lot of not so good people. Mule and exacted. Excitable, all right. Never seems to keep their emotions. Mm. Would be nice if you had a body like five that... Ooh, this is interesting. We got a passional farmer. Green thumbs, but no, this is not what we're going to keep. Also not one old guy, that's also not good. We need to do a lot of things. We got a builder. Glutton, stomach might well be a portal to another world, but I guess this will work. Alright, accept and... Let's see, let's see, we're going to start with a hunting party. Now, I want to start in the spring because this is already hard enough. I want a little bit defensible location. Ooh, this is nice. I guess this is going to be it. A little bit of water. And we are going to start at the top of the mountain. We're going to start and build our house there. And we are going to survive this time. And welcome to the Arctics. We uh, are going to start. Are we going to start at the top or not? No, not totally at the top. Ooh, we even got green areas down here. That is great. What's this? Hmm, this is definitely an interesting place. We got some herbals there and there, some more herbals because I do need the herbals. We got some carrots. And I guess... Not quite sure where we should start, but... I want to have an entrance to a mountain. We do need some trees. But I guess this should be the place somewhere around here. Yes, we're going to start here. What's this? No, I can't see where. But that doesn't look look nice. That doesn't that does look scary. So we're going to move a little bit to this area. Yeah, we're going to start in this area. Yeah, we're going to start here. We're going to place our banner and this area and we are going to pause immediately uh, first thing first we are going to start making a storage area I'm going to start the storage area in this corner We're going to store everything we can can we make this thing bigger no maybe we should have made it a little bit bigger then we are going to harvest all the wood away from this area going to Remove all the wood and that way we are able to do some building. Now let's see who's going to do what. You are a good craftsman so you're going to be our masonry. 
We had one guy who wanted to be a soldier. Or didn't we have? No, we didn't have any. You know, I guess you are going to be the soldier. Approve, and I guess this is going to be the starting area. So let's speed it up. And we got a level one archer. We got a lot of wood that we need to store. And as you can see, they already store everything down there. And we're going to build our house inside this area. With those trees down, I got a little bit more overview. And for you guys who've seen the first episode, you remember we did the easy, easy uh, group. The Nordlings are kind of hard because they start with a the masonry. They don't start with a carpenter, so you can't build any farms and a lot of stuff you can't do yet. So yeah, where first goal is to get our blacksmith and after our blacksmith we need a farmer and carpenter and then we can slowly level up. We need to make some defenses because we're on hard difficulty. That's definitely going to be something we need. So we need a lot of stuff, but first thing first, we got a lot of wood. That's a good thing because we can burn wood up. And I want to remove those woods also. So now for the second part, we are going to dig in. And uh, we're going to use our x-ray vision and yeah we're going to be in trouble there so I want to make a bedroom just a little a small bedroom just enough for people to sleep in and it's going to be this area then maybe we're going to build a second room for the masonry but I'm not quite sure about that one. Ooh, those are big trees. Big trees. We need to cut them down also. And the last big trees. Are those going down too? And a figure appears. A stoicy scout, a woman stands at the edge of the camp. She wears the traveler born blues of a scout of the library. Welcome, traveler. Roninia, she said, pointing at herself. Her voice is strangled. As it is explained, she pulled her collar away from the throat, revealing a messy old scar. She gestures at her knife. I'm scout. Then she tapped the star of the branch on her cloak for Velen, the library. She speaks at much with her hands, eyes, as with her voice. I'm glad you have come to study and settle. Now that I know you're here, I will send tales of your learnings to the scholars at home. She stepped over to the banner and touches it blank. Center. First touch, you should choose your symbol. What future did you foresee when you started your voyage? Alright, so we can pick different types of uh banners and i am kind of going for the banner of strength because i really need that one in the beginning we are going to call our name mentorian and issue a declaration our outpost has been created and we get a little party let's party and one two oh yeah we got a party and they're all happy we're going to dance and we're going to drink all night. And now we get back to work. Come on, get back to work. I really need you to go back to work. All right, we're back to work. No, yes, yes. And we got a gift. Ronia produced a small pouch. Thank you, Ronia. Wishes and from her gesture, it's clear she means for your hospitality and presence. She places a small pouch beside the banner on the side. 
is emblem of the nearest large town some days in this our town our start of the constellation of our people she said for you from them so that one day you will join them so we get some food all right i would rather have a carpenter would be nice all right we've got our masonry so he should build mason stuff that way we can start build bigger stuff because we're really going to need it we got two bows and one spoon the spoon is for the cook we're definitely going to get that one Oh, she's still not gone. Ronilla is now standing by the edge of the fire. She writes the town name on a brief account of its inhabitants in with flesh of a bird Chris shaving medically. All right. Hmm. She continues into the flames which burn paler for a moment. Menturian, she intoned by Velen wisdomed and under a watchful eye of the stars above be committed to to the records of the library all right and i guess she's going go no yes she's gone all right i want my masonry to he already built it so i need to slow it down a little bit because we do need to place this thing then that way i can start building and rooms are almost ready and let's speed it up a little bit more all right the mason is already done almost done and we're going to oh we got invaders let's uh, all group up and in the meantime, if our invaders are getting defeated, I'm going to build some beds because we're going to need some beds. Uh, let's see, let's make six, no, eight. We're going to make eight and we're going to make 20 of these lanterns. We're going to sell them as soon as we get our trader. And we get our first daily update. Where is the... We got our first daily update and we didn't get another word. I was expecting that. All right, let's get back to work. <clears throat> now I want to have a small mason room and we're going to build it just inside here, I guess. Going to be a long room. And let's see. Can we fit that room? No, we cannot. Mm, that's kind of annoying. I was hoping to be able to make a room out of here, but I should have made it a little bit that way. Oh well. Then we're going to build the mason room in here. I guess. Now let, let's make it that way and this is going to be the room all right let's see if we can place those beds yeah we got four beds already done and we're going to place one two three four beds five beds i ordered eight i thought And then our people can sleep. They can finally sleep. That's an important task of that job. To go and sleep sweet. Alright. Last one I guess we can. Place that one next to it. Yes. Why are you just standing here? You're an idle worker. We never got idle workers. So I guess you're kind of stuck. Sometimes that happens. Ugly aesthetics. All right, I guess you don't like the room. What do you like? She likes an ordinary writing desk. She likes small cobblestone fences. Well, we can oblige with that. Ooh, we got gold. 
This is nice. All right. Guess she doesn't like the room. But at least everybody is going to get a bed. So we're all going to get our own bed. And I can appoint. Uh, we're going to point that one for this guy. That one for that guy. Did we miss one? I'm not sure. That one's for reserved for the traveler. No. Choose a hard link. I guess you should have that one. Then you should have current owner. All right. So that's the current owner, and that's the current owner. All right. Then we've got one for snore. We got one for. Already own one, already own ones. So guess you are going to get that one. And the next one, Kate Moore. Uh, already owns, already owns. And we got our Mason level 2. That's a good thing. Then the last one is for you. And now. Let's build ourselves a big door. Uh, because this guy needs to be working around the clock. Uh, I want this big door. Build it. And in the meantime, he is going to make those things. Stone candle holder. Oh man, what are we going to build? Um, I want to moon carve studio. No, we can't do that yet. Uh, let's make the chess. I can make two chests. One for the wood and one for... For the stone. And that one also is handy. Alright, I guess we got most things done. Now, the next thing that we're going to build is going to be our first outside building. We are going to craft a dining room. Oh, I'm opening multiple tasks again. Let's see, we're going to take a look. A dining hall. From the Northern Alliance. I'm going to place it just here in the corner. And let's see what we need. Yes, we can build that all. That, that not going to be a hard building. That way we have a dining hall, and I'm going to build a cookhouse next to it. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that, but now let's see. This is all stone, so let's drop the stone door first. That way we got a lot of safe stuff. There it's going to be. And we get our daily update. And no, we still haven't reached the maximum. The roads remain empty. Alright. Are you working? Because you need to work around the clock. You need to... Build a lot of stuff. Look at how they beautiful build this house. And once we get some extra people, I need to cook. That's the first thing we need, and we're definitely going to get that one. Because this mountain can supply us with a lot of storage area. But we need more people. More people is the key to completing this. Alright, so let's see. Turn that one around. And that one. 
and we're going to move the workbench move that one can we move that yes it's now going the right direction and once you've got those things done well life has been sighted or I don't care about the wildlife all right now let's see what do we have yeah we got still got some bats Ooh, look at the deer we got some deer here all right now that we've got the basic set up I also want our crafter to build oh I need a mason level 3 and a mason pedestal ah, he needs to level up he needs to make a lot more stuff and we got new invaders oh they're on the other side so they will never get here they are never going to get here and we are slowly getting to the end of this episode but I really 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 want to have this building done so we're going to fast forward a little bit so and the building is done the dining room is done so the next episode we are going to try and find ourselves a cook and we got a lot of interior work to do we've got the dining area ready but yeah we need a lot of stuff to do We'll have to see that in the next episode we're digging out some more sleeping space because we also want to get a traveler. I need to build this masonry area, make it more beautiful and we're definitely going to do that. So we got a lot to do. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you all in the next episode. If you guys got any tips, tricks or any comment, leave it in the section down below and help me get to its achievements this series done and if you get any wishes something you would like to know something you would like to see just put it in the comment down below and i will get back to you thank you all for watching see you all in the next episode